Okay, I wanted to provide a quick overview of some new features we've just introduced with Twitter Gadget, um, specifically Twitter trends, tw trending topics, and save searches for your specific user account. All of this is centered around search, Twitter search, which as many of you may know is already integrated into Twitter Gadget via um, a couple of different methods. The most basic of which is using the tweet input area um, uh, which also doubles as a search box. Um, so rather than when you type your, your text into the tweet input area, rather than submitting it as a tweet by clicking the submit button or hitting enter if you have that option set, um, you can use the keyboard shortcut control Q for query and uh, we will query Twitter uh, for your keywords. Uh, in addition to using the, the keyboard shortcut, um, we recently introduced the ability to highlight text um, within any tweet uh, in the timeline and by highlighting the text once you let go with your mouse a sub menu will pop up you can translate that text uh, using Google Translate and you can set that default to translate language via the advanced options or you can also select search and we will also submit that search against Twitter and display against Twitter and display your results lastly uh, the third mode of searching is within the timeline as well when you come across any hashtags you can click a hashtag and it automatically searches um, for your keywords. Now that we've seen the various m ways in which we can conduct a search, um, let's talk about the trending topics and save searches that we've introduced. You may notice over on the right hand side there used to be a, a question mark help icon um, that was linked over to our keyboard shortcuts and tips for using Twitter gadget. We've replaced that help icon with a, with a little drop down options menu that enables us to present uh, additional features that with limited real estate available inside the gadget uh, gives us space to introduce those features and make them available via this drop down menu. So when you click the arrow um, you will see the various uh, options we've made available, trending topics, save searches, user statistics and help. You can click off that menu and it will go away. You can click up and down on the arrow to make that menu appear or disappear. Real quickly, user statistics is something that's always been there via the Control M keyboard shortcut, M standing for me, uh, but we've also made it available explicitly through this menu as well by clicking the user statistics uh, link. What pops up is a little panel showing your latest tweets, number of followers, number of people following. You can click those links and you'll see all that detail. You can view all of your updates, sent direct messages, and so on. Um, going back to this new menu, if we click trending topics, we can now see what is currently trending, the top 10 trend, trending keywords on Twitter. Uh, we can click any of these as desired. And here are our results for those particular topics that are currently trending. And we can click any one of these and so on and so forth. Once we determine that uh, a particular trend is of interest and we may want to keep that for future reference, um, something you'll notice and let's go back and come out let's come out of our search let's close our trends um, and come back to the timeline and start from the top one thing you'll notice is when you conduct a search um, what pops up when you are in search mode is a new little green icon that says save this search so say we decided that we want to save this particular uh, search we can click this button we'll do some work and we will now take your search that you've requested to save and add it to your save searches list. Here's Twitter Crush, the search we just saved. So what happens is as soon as you save a search, the save search panel will open up to show you, um, show you that it's been added to your list. You can close out that list. You can go back to save searches. Um, you, here again is our list that we've populated. We can click any of our save searches. Um, and get our results as desired. Go back, view uh, any of the keywords that are in our list, and if we decide that we no longer want that as part of our save search, just click the little X next to each keyword. We'll delete that out of your save search list, and you can continue on as desired. So that's it in a nutshell. Again, hope you enjoy the new feature, and as always, any feedback uh, you have is certainly appreciated. Uh, um, as we like to continue trying to introduce new features uh, as much as possible. Thanks.